Hello again. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to install, a pa install Apache Airflow on a Ubuntu uh, virtual machine, VM, VMware VM. So the instructions that I'm going to use are in this document that I'm going to give you a link to at the bottom of this video on the Google Drive here. So this is the list of instructions I just follow these and then I'll demonstrate that that is how I install um, everything that I need to get Apache Airflow running the latest version so what I have here is a fresh copy fresh installation of Ubuntu desktop 2104 and the only thing that I've actually done is um, I just changed the time the time zone and the keyboard so that it matches the UK where I'm in and I haven't done anything else really because I want to just keep it as fresh and as raw as possible so that everyone can just follow these as much as possible from their own setup so to begin with what I have to do is I have to install Anaconda so to do that I have to go to use my browser, which I'm using is f the one that I'm using is Firefox here. So I'm not installing Chrome yet, but I'm just going to do it with that. So copy, uh, copy, control C. And let's see if that takes that there, control V. So here, this will go to Anaconda. Then I go to products, individual open source distribution then if I downloaded that, that would be the Windows one. I don't want that because I'm on Ubuntu at the moment, Ubuntu Linux. So I will go down here, click this little fella here, then go down to Linux, and then this is the one that I want, 64-bit. So click on that, and then it goes to save this sh file. So save that, and then that will download. I'll be downloading over here. While it does that, you can see that it's still downloading here. Okay, and then when that downloads, where will it go? It will go into um, here. Download. Should end up here. So that's the fact that it's still downloading. And then while that's going, let me just have a look and just show you what I intend to do here. So what I need to do is go into download this and then use this bash command bash command to install it, install Anaconda. Then I have to make the virtual environment. So I will make a folder in here and then change to it in here. And then in there I will create the Anaconda environment using Python 3.9. Then I'll activate it then I will get the environment variable, get the environment variable, and then use it uh, inside here. Then you know, get the path and then put it into the environment variable. And then I will use the, the terminal to start installing packages. And this is just a little note here. This part here is just a couple of notes just to tell you how you can um, get the package versions so that you have the same versions if you have any problems uh, so you get the same versions that I am using and just make sure that the same versions otherwise you can um, have some problems sometimes with the dependencies then basically it's just running through these commands here from here and then each of these here doing the installs for all these things install 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 and then carry on installing all the way down here and I think I'm not going to install this Kubernetes part, but then all of these things I'm going to install. And then after that, then hopefully what you have is, uh, let's see, then we will be ready to start the environment. We'll be able to um, create a user here and then we'll start the environment. And then we'll show you, I'll show you how it's all been set up. So now this has been downloaded. What I need to do is get a terminal. So the terminal is down here, terminal window. 
it's over here and I think what I'm going to do is just add this to the favorites so that it appears as a shortcut here okay so now that's very handy and that's where this is the downloaded file let me go back to the top here and just see the command so it's just bash and then the name of this file so let me go and grab this name like so copy and then say bash space then control shift and V and then I will enter bash no such directory okay so what it's done is I've n I'm not in the right directory obviously so wh where am I let's see ls and then cd downloads and then ls and then that's where I am at so that's what I want here bash and then please enter then there's some documentation you just carry on pressing enter so it goes all the way, all the way down down and then yes or no and then you put yes yeah and then that's your home and then that's fine and then it's starting to unpack so now it's doing that with the install so we'll let that run for a little while and So we'll just let that run and run and then it takes a little time actually to unpack the payload but then it starts to go and do it. So it's extracting stuff. It's good to see that it's actually working. Okay, and so that is done. And we'll type in yes here. And so if I just closed out this window now, open up a new one, then it will start with base here. And that's what I want. So now I can go to the next bit, which is to open up the terminal window and then cd to documents change directory over to documents and then make a directory called airflow environment so i've made that directory now so if i come over here i will see it inside here that's the folder that i've just made so then go into that folder cd to in that folder and then inside when I'm in there make the conda create environment in here so that's that bit like that yes or no is yes and then activate 
environment so that it appears in this part here. So now I'll just look at the path just to show you. That's the path but that is the path that I have to put into the environment variable each time I start. So each time I open up this bit, I start airflow, I need to put in this command here, which is to export that into the environment variable. So that's that done. And then now this part is just about how to get versions so don't need that what I need is here so I need this bit here this bit is the next thing that I need so I will install this part and it'll ask for my password which I put in And then while that's running, let's have a look. This is all just information to see that I have the same versions of all these things being installed. Then after this, what is next? Okay, so that's done now. So I've done that bit. Now I need to go and install a few more extra things here using this here, just up to here. Put that there. And then go here, go here. Okay, then I just need to install Apache Airflow here like this. Install that. And that takes quite a while. thing here is GCP if you might need that then pip install stat D in case we need that later and then all we have is this bit here Open SSL, a few things to just copy and paste and then say yes. And then that's done. Then after what do we have to do? Let's see. The next bit is this bit here. Install Sentry. Install that. And then we're nearly there. A couple more things here. then so this is the next bit here pip install cryptography and then pip install PySpark which is gonna be quite big 21 megabytes to download 
but then, so I'm not going to do this bit here. Should still be okay without that. Then, yeah, I'm going to see how it is. <coughs> without that. Yeah, the version may have gone up actually, but we will see how that goes. Then if it's not okay, then I'll have to come back and do this bit. Okay, so that is done, and now, because if I look at the version here, let's see what we have installed. It's 2.20, so it's gone up a little bit. So now, if you go into here, there are a few things that need to be done, which is just to initialize the database here first, and then after, to create an admin role actually just create this username admin and give it a password so that's what we're going to use to get to the front page the web um, server so now I can do is what I can do is I can just open do this each time when I just want to start Apache Airflow. So I can just have a new window completely. Oops, not this. Uh, not this. What I can do is have a new window here, a new window, another new window. And what I can do is just copy and paste all of this bit here. So it doesn't matter if it's multi line, just paste it all in and then hit enter. Then it will do all, all of that. And it will start airflow. Great. Okay, so then we have this bit here as well. This is for the scheduler. Paste that in and see what we have. So that's so that's started. And then what you can do with this is then go into this bit here then this should take us to the front end of Apache Airflow and then this is where we go back and we need this our username or admin here paste that in there and then the password that we have here copy and paste that into the password here and just sign in so save that and then that's it, two of our DAGs here are not working, so we can go in and delete those DAGs if we wanted to in that area here. These PY files, PY files, but basically it's just some warnings here about not using SQLite for production and this sequential editor. Not using these things for production, but for a development environment, what we have here is we have um, Airflow set up now. So that's how you set up Airflow Apache Airflow on a Ubuntu desktop. So I hope you found this video useful. Hope you've enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching.